Hello everyone, Professor Travis Took here, and in this video, I wanna talk about why you will quit jujitsu, and why that would be one of the biggest mistakes that you could possibly make. Now when I say you will quit jujitsu, I'm not talking about you specifically, and I'm certainly not talking about any of my students who I have all the confidence and faith in the world in, but the reality is, there's a very high turnover rate in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I wanna talk about a few of the reasons why I think that is, and what you can do to make it all the way to black belt and beyond while becoming a better martial artist and a better person along the way. So let's get into why do people quit. One of the top reasons is there is a learning curve in Jiu Jitsu, right? And for most people, Jiu Jitsu is a very unnatural athletic, Sports, it's, it's different than a lot of things where you run in a straight line or you push things in a straight line. You're asked to move your body in awkward ways and this is why many times people that are great in one sport have trouble crossing over into Jiu Jitsu initially. Their athleticism does not always translate into the Jiu Jitsu techniques that they're learning and they have to really empty their cup and start from scratch. This also explains why some people who are very awkward and unathletic uh, do great in jiu-jitsu. They're more willing to soak up the technique without any expectations and they can really thrive. But either way, whether you're talented or not so talented when you begin, you're most likely going to spend the first several months getting tapped out by people that are smaller and less intimidating than you are and that doesn't always set well with everyone. And depending on where you train, there may not be a program in place for the beginner. So some schools just kind of throw you to the wolves and it can be tough to get through that initial gauntlet where you're just getting tapped out over and over again and everybody's better than you. I know when I started, that's kind of how it was. I started at a small school, but there wasn't really a beginner or intermediate or advanced program. It was just kind of whoever showed up, trained together. Then when I moved to Brazil, it's just kind of, every man, woman, and child for themselves. You know, at that time, there was no structured curriculum or classes, it was just everybody show up, train, maybe we're learning a basic technique, maybe we're learning a very complicated technique, and then everybody's sparring everybody. Now, although I'm very happy that I went through that experience, this can be frustrating for many students, and it's not always the best experience early on, and sadly, many quit before they really start to get good. Another thing about jiu-jitsu, it is exhausting. You're using your entire body to move in ways you've never done before. It can be one of the most tiring activities that you have ever participated in. One more reason why people quit is the sacrifice required to get to black belt. You're going to likely have to put off partying and socializing, hanging out with friends, going out for drinks, taking every weekend off. Even your family and marriage might take a backseat to your newfound addiction, Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> and for some people, they're not able to find that balance between what they really love, Jiu Jitsu, and a lot of other things that they love. They try to juggle it, it doesn't work, and they just throw in the towel and they say, all right, I'm not doing Jiu Jitsu anymore. It was too much, I quit. There is a way to balance it, right? You do not have to train six days a week. If you do train six days a week, you're going to get better much faster than the person who trains twice a week, but that's still no reason to just simply give up on something that is so beneficial to who you become as a person in the permanent skill that you will acquire when you become a black belt. But perhaps the number one reason that people quit jujitsu is the time commitment. The average time that it takes to get a black belt is anywhere between eight and 12 years. And while some people have done it in a much shorter time, many people take even longer than that because they take breaks, they take time off, there are different life events that come up that just extend the time that it may take for you to reach the black belt. Most people don't like the idea of something taking that long to achieve. I mean, that's longer than it takes to become a professor in a university. That's longer than it takes to become a doctor. That's even longer than it takes to become a lawyer. But, it's worth it. 
A few years back, I had the opportunity to go up to California for five days and participate in the SEAL Fit Comprehensive Training Program led by former Navy SEAL Commander Mark Devine. And Mark had a really great story that he shared with us all. He talks about being a 26-year-old accountant making six figures a year with a comfortable, settled life and he just had this gnawing feeling that he was not who he wanted to be. You see, he had always dreamed of being a Navy SEAL, but he didn't take that route real early in life. He didn't do it as an 18 or 19 year old like so many others have done. He took the corporate route. He's a 26 year old accountant making a great living. And to become a Navy SEAL is a six year process. It's not something that you just go do for a few months and you're it. It takes a very long time. The failure rate to become a Navy SEAL is incredibly high. The majority of candidates that try out for it quit before the process is even complete. So Mark told the story about a call that he had with his mentor at the time. He called him up and he said, man, you know, I really want to do this Navy SEAL thing, but I, I don't know if I should. I mean, I've got a job, I'm, I'm settled in, I've got my career lined out and I'm 26 years old, right? I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be a Navy SEAL until I'm 32. You know, I feel like that's kind of old to be getting into the Navy SEAL thing. You know, I, do I really wanna do this? And his mentor asked him a very simple question. He said, if you keep being an accountant, which you say you don't have any passion for anymore, it's just the security of the job, and six years go by, how old will you be? And Mark kind of chuckled and he's like, well, 32. He goes, okay, would you rather be a 32 year old accountant or a 32 year old Navy SEAL? And he said, he's on the phone and he smiled and kind of said, okay. Hung up the phone and then went and enrolled into the program. So whatever age you are, let's assume it's gonna take you 10 years to get to be a black belt. And Let's say you're 45 years old. Not the youngest age to start jujitsu, certainly not the oldest, but you're not a teenager, you're not a 21 year old, and you're prime, you're a little bit older. In 10 years, if you quit jujitsu today, how old will you be? You're gonna be the same age. So would you rather be a 55 year old who quit jujitsu when he was 45, or would you rather be a 55 year old black belt professor? The time's going to go by anyway, you're going to be that much older, but you will be a very different person if you chose the route of becoming a black belt. This is why you shouldn't quit. And you will be part of a very small group of special individuals who have made the sacrifice, dedication, and commitment to achieve something that very few ever will. And in addition to all the awesome skills that a black belt possesses on the mat, you'll have skills that will carry over into all areas of your life. You will be more disciplined than the average person. You will understand teamwork better than 99.9% .9 of the people walking the planet. You'll have greater integrity. Jiu-Jitsu is an art that demands that you be extremely honest with yourself. You'll definitely learn patience. Did I mention that it takes about 10 years to get your black belt? You'll learn humility. No matter how great you are in any other sport or any other skill, you will be humbled in the Jiu-Jitsu classroom. And you'll become a more appreciative person because of that. You will develop the willpower to always finish what you start no matter how long it takes. Did I mention the 10 years? What's up? And you'll have acquired some permanent self-defense skills. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is arguably the best self-defense system on the planet, and you will have mastered this system. Most importantly, as a black belt, you now have the skills and ability to give back to others. And you can watch those that you help evolve into a better version of themselves. And in a very real way, you can make the community that you serve and the world around you a little bit better. Because a black belt is a symbol of both mastery and open-mindedness. It means that you have ventured far enough to see that there is no real end to this journey.
A black belt means that you are always ready to empty your cup and see what else you can learn today and how you can leverage this new knowledge for something great. All right, well that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and whether or not I've convinced you to train all the way to black belts, hopefully I've at least convinced you to push yourself a little bit harder this week and to set some even bigger and crazier goals for yourself. And if you made it this far, please leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, please remember to like the video or dislike it. Whatever you're in the mood for, just take some action. See you next time, everyone.